scanned into system. Data scanned into system. <laughs> Data scanned into system. Uh, uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> What's well, so funny, Dad? <laughs> yeah, what are you reading? <laughs> Oh, the Universal Encyclopedia of Fly Jokes. <laughs> fly Jokes? Oh, yes, Leona. This is what I mean when I always say you have to read the classic Fly Jokes. Oh. <laughs> Does he always say that? <laughs> hey, guys, Fly Jokes. <laughs> Data scanned into system. <laughs> oh, come on, Click. Let's stop working and have a good laugh. I do not laugh. Oh, I'm sure you'll laugh at this. Come on. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> a guy in a restaurant buys a bowl of soup. He notices that there is a fly in it and says... Oh, waiter. Yes? What is this fly doing in my soup? Oh, uh, it looks like the backstroke to me. Oh, click! Didn't you get it? Certainly. The waiter misunderstood the question and gave an inappropriate answer. Well, yes, but it's funny. Uh, you're not laughing. I told you, I do not laugh. Oh, you'll laugh at the next one. It's a riot! <laughs> a guy in a restaurant buys a bowl of soup. He notices that there's a fly in it and says... Oh, waiter. Yes? There's a fly in my soup. Keep your voice down or everyone will want one. <laughs> Did you get it, Click? Another misunderstanding, correct? Well, yes, but doesn't it make you want to at least laugh or, or chuckle? I am not programmed for laughter or chuckling. Oh, let me read one, Dad. I could make Click laugh. Mm, yeah, maybe it's in my delivery. Oh, okay. mm. A guy in a restaurant buys a bowl of soup. He notices that there is a fly in it and says, Oh, waiter. Yes? What is this fly doing in my soup? There was no room in the potato salad. No room in the potato salad. Who writes this stuff? No, I am ruining your good time. Perhaps I should exit. Hmm. Maybe Click just doesn't like fly jokes. <gasps> yes, of course. We all laugh at different things. Yes, well, if we didn't, we'd only need one joke. Which one? Uh. Click, we have all kinds of other funny books in the library. I'm sure we can find one that tickles you. Yeah, I know some that are a riot. Come on! All right. Yes! To the humor section! Onward! <laughs> Click, don't you worry. Get ready to laugh, okay? I cannot get ready to laugh. I am not programmed for laughter. Hmm. Shoo! Shoo, flies! Shoo! Shoo! And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, the vowels are in the house to sing the Y sound from their hit word, my! I, 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 <laughs> I mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fr 
I fry. Fry! 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 Fly! Sly! Shine! And now, Artie Smarty Pants will read four words without any assistance whatsoever! <laughs> Thank you! May I have a build the excitement drum roll, please? Yeah! Thank you! Renowned mezzo soprano Ms. Denise Graves will sing the sound of the letter Y in the word butterfly. Quick, quick, you're gonna laugh this time. I 
just know it! Oh, thank you, Leona. I have never laughed before. I tremble with anticipation. Go. <laughs> Good evening. Hey, yeah. Good evening, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Simians and insects, Ooh. welcome to the humor section. <laughs> great crowd, great crowd. Hey, where do you monkeys come from? Trees. Oh, so you must be the branch manager. <laughs> Try the bananas. I'm here all week. Okay, okay, settle down, settle down. Put your paws and wings together for the comedy stylings of Dr. Nidwit. That's Nidwit. Nidwit and Watson. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Um, um, uh, say, Dr. Nitwite, uh -huh. what's the tallest building in the city? I don't know, Watson. What is the tallest building in the city? Oh, uh, the library. Uh, uh, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Um, uh, because it has the most stories. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get it, Quick? Certainly. It is a play on the two meanings of the word stories. One, a tale, and two, the adjacent subdivisions of a building. Keep going, keep going. Hmm? Oh, 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 um, oh, he's one. Um, Dr. Nick White, um, mm. what slimy has red eyes and 19 mm. hairy legs? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Neither do I, hmm. but there's one crawling on your neck! Oh, get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Oh, it's a joke! It's a joke! Calm down! Oh, 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 oh. I knew that. Hmm. Interesting joke. She's not laughing. Mm -mm. Okay. I know, I think. Wow! Oh. Bye, Watson. Brilliant, Dr. Nitwit. That's Nick White. <laughs> right. Now those hilarious comedy stylings, two of the funniest parents I've ever known, Theo and Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cleo. Yes, Theo. <gasps> uh, 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 uh. Uh, what is the best way to pounce on a unique animal? Unique up on it! Unique up on it! Oh, perhaps I should leave. Oh, no, no, don't leave. Click, you'll get the next one. Do the next one! Mm, right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oh, Leo! Yes, Theo? What? Oh, right! Uh, uh, uh. Er, uh, what fur do you get from an angry rhinoceros? As fur away as you can get! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Yuck? I am laughing? Huh? Huh? Oh, you're not really laughing, are you? A pointing device cannot lie. No. I am not laughing. Boo! Boo! We didn't make her laugh. We made her cry. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, the vowels are true and tried with the Y sound from their big hit word. Once again at Blending Field, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir Chris. 
<laughs> and this side, sir, I. I. <laughs> Blend on, dear. I. 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 word for today. And this is Gawain saying, try not to cry, because we'll see you next time on Gawain's Word. Gawain's Word. Fly, fly. <laughs> Watson, come quick and bring your pad and pencil. Ew. Uh, yes, Dr. Nitwit? That's Nit White. Dr. Nit White. Uh, yes, Nit White. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> bring the stone. Uh, I, Dr. Alexander Grimm, White have just discovered the only word in the English language that has the little Y I sound at the end. Fly. <laughs> Fly. <laughs> my, oh, my. Oh, why? No, no, no. Oh, my. Why? Why? Oh, don't cry. It was a nice try, Dr. Nitwit. White. White, white. Oh. It's okay. It's all right. Fl, fl, fl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fly. 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 <clears throat> Woke up this morning wondering why. Why can sometimes sound like yeah and sometimes e or I. Troubled by a little why. Why has got three different sounds? Yes, he and I. Well, the why in lucky sounds like E. The why in sky says I. The why in yellow sounds like yeah. Won't someone tell me why? Oh my. Troubled by a little why. It brings me grief. Why has got three different sounds? Yeah, he and I. Well, why is the E in mucky? Why is the Y in yes? So why it sounds like I and cry is hard for me to guess. Trouble me, letter Y. Why do you want to do that to me? Why has got three different sounds? Yeah, E and I. The three sounds of Y. Why? Your why? I feel yucky. I fly. Sly. Shy. Why? All right. Let's find out who's who. Here. Who's here? Yes. What? Here. Who are you? No, I'm what? You're who? No, I'm who. Where? Here. Where are you? Yes. What? That's me. You're who? No, I'm what? He's who. Where? I'm where? He's what? And I'm who? <sighs> why me? No, why me? I'm why. All right. So you're why, mm -hmm. you're who, Yep. you're where, Yeah. and you're what? Right. right. Fine. Now, when... Here. <laughs> what? No, I'm what? <sighs> <laughs> Greetings.
Greetings, salutations. Hola, hello, hi. <laughs> Heath the thesaurus here with ten diminutive, small, short, itty bitty, little, tiny words that pop up in just about anything you want to read or write. <laughs> Small words, good to learn by sight. Other is that you of in and it to their ten small words, fun to read and write. <gasps> Golly gee, here's the and to mercy me, here's a and you is a winner anyone could love. Hey, tip your hat to that and it's a hit and is, is grand And there's no word I'm fonder of than of Let me tell you now Other is that you of in and it to Read these words every chance you can Oh, other is that you of in and it to Ten small words and I'm the biggest fan in her monitor. Oh, what is that fly doing in my monitor? It is a bug in my program. A bug in my program? It's not a joke. There's a fly on your... Uh... Head! Yeah, your head! <laughs> uh, 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 get off! Excuse me, fly. It's my head, and I do not want you to sit on it. Chew! Chew! There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. EBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Reading to children every day creates warm family memories, and it helps them become better readers. Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do your designated reader thing. Okay.
now, Cubs. Your father and I will only be gone for a couple of hours. Yeah, okay, Mom. I want to go! I want to go! I want to go! Where are you going again? To the annual librarian's meeting and old binding lover's buffet at the main branch downtown. Hmm. I don't want to go. Oh. I will maintain optimum function of the library and the Cubs in your absence. You don't have to worry about the Cubs' functions, Click. We've gotten a great Cub sitter for them. Mm -hmm. Your Cub sitter has arrived! I'm not late, am I? Marmy's our Cub sitter? That's right, Cubbies! <laughs> While the folks are away, I will be your designated adult! <laughs> yeah! All right! All right, all right! My worry circuits are pinging. Are you certain Marmy is a better choice for cub sitting than perhaps a hyper intelligent computer mouse? Don't overwork your worry circuits, Click. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, chill, Mousy. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, cubs. Be good for Marmy. Yeah, yeah, be good. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, is there any smutty pants coming over too? Yeah. Oh no, I'm sorry, Sunny Boy had to stay home, but. He suggested I bring his favorite book to read to you. Ooh, ah, Artie's favorite book. Ooh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, hmm, where did I put that book? Oh, that's my twig. That's my sprig. Oh, that's my summer wig. Ooh, ah, those are my clam diggers. <laughs> Voila! Pigs a plenty, pigs galore, by David McPhail. Read, read it. it. Yeah, read, read it. it. Okay, yeah. okay. Wait, wait a minute. What does galore mean? Galore, in abundance, plentiful, lots. Oh, lots of pigs. <gasps> read it. Yeah, yeah. read, read it. it. Late one night, as I sat reading, I thought I heard the sound of feeding. Through the kitchen door I crept, barely watching where I stepped. A crash! A bang! A shout! A yell! I slipped on something, then I fell. I landed on a pile of pigs, some eating dates, some eating figs. In the cupboards, on the floor, pigs aplenty, pigs go! Black pigs, white pigs, brown and pink, making oatmeal in the sink. Pigs from England, pigs from France, pigs in just their underpants. Pigs arrive by boat, by plane, a bus pulls up, and then a train. A band strikes up, a piggy sings. <laughs> then at ten, the doorbell rings. Someone yells, the pizza's here. And all the pigs begin to cheer. <laughs> Flying pizzas fill the air. One goes splat against my chair. The piggy piggies eat their fill. I get nothing, just the bill. I've had enough. I scream and shout. Get out, you pigs. You pigs, get out. Please let us stay. The piggies <laughs> cry. Don't make us go. Don't say goodbye. You can stay. I tell them all. But sweep the floor and scrub the wall. I give them brooms, a pail, a mop. Now sweep and scrub till I say stop. The piggies work, and when they're done, upstairs they stagger one by one. They brush their teeth and comb their tails then wash their snouts and clean their nails. The pigs and I climb into bed. I plump the pillows, plump my head. I close my eyes and try to sleep. Before too long, 
I'm dreaming deep of pigs and pigs and pigs some more of pigs a plenty pigs galore. The end. Oh, pigs are cool. Fly and pizzas. Splat. Pigs from England. Pigs from France. Piggy behavior may appear cool in the book, but in real life, such chaos is not. Oh, I wish I were a pig. Yeah, me too. I had a feeling you might say that. Huh? Have a pig nose. It's time for a big, big party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, party. 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 Big party. Each of those words trips my trouble sensors. Pig party. <laughs> Determining percentile results of pigs plus party. Probability for disaster, 98 and 3 quarters percent. <laughs> Let's go party with the... Uh, uh... Uh, pigs? Yeah! Pigs! Party with the pigs! Party, party with, with the pigs! pigs. Party, party with, with the pigs! pigs. Party, party with the pigs. pigs! They're gone! Finally! Oh, I'm so happy I could do a jig! <laughs> You look great, you look great. Hey, sing along with Mark the Reader and the Vowels as they bring you the short I, I sound in the word brick. If you can read I C K, then you can read pick and strick, and you can read thick and slick, and you can read quick. Hey, I like your reading today. All it took was an I C K. If you can read I C K, then you can read tick and flick, and you can read sick and chick. You can read click. Yeah, I bet you're getting to know every hip that I'm pickled to show. If you can read I C K, then you can read lick and click, and you can read kick, and you can read brick. If you can read it. Inez and the baby. <laughs> Kick the ball, baby. Kick the ball, baby. So <laughs> Don't give up, baby. Kick the ball, baby. Is the baby okay? Baby. You can do it, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Kick the ball, baby. Yeah. The baby kicks the ball. The end. Today, Chicken Jane and the Skipping Hippo. Look, look, see, see, coming down the lane. Here comes Scott, here comes Dot, here comes Chicken Jane. Look, Scott, look, a 
landscaping hippo. C dot C. See the skipping hippo slip. Yes, Scott, yes. That is a slick trick. Look, Dot, look. See Chicken Jane write. Yes, Scott, yes. See Chicken Jane write the letters S, P, L, I, T. Sp lit. Split. Quick, Dot, quick. Let us split. Look, Scott, look. See the hippo sit. See the hippo sit on Chicken Jane. The hippo is not sitting on us. <laughs> Thank you, Chicken Jane. Bah. You gotta get your mouth moving. It's so hip. You gotta get your mouth grooving. Lose your grip. You gotta get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth moving. Let it rip. Wow, cuddly kitty. Don't you just love little Wendy tails? I wonder what'll happen to Lil Wendy and her pooch poopsy next. <laughs> poopsy laughs when she sees Lil Wendy slip on the dripping ice cream. Oh no! Poor Lil Wendy and Poopsy. Cuddly Kitty, this looks like a job for... And Emoticon, the cat! transpiring here. I came to peruse a clay, and I find myself surrounded by people making fun of pigs. I told you this was not good. We're not making fun of pigs. We're play-acting because we all wish we could be like pigs. <laughs> hey, everybody, do we love pigs or what? Yeah! <laughs>
you're enjoying yourself. Affirmative. I am like pigging, dude. Oink, 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 <laughs> oink. Oh, oh, may I join your party? I even have my own nose. <laughs> <laughs> You pigs! You pigs, get out! Theo and Cleo will throw us out of the library! Not good, not good, not good. They wouldn't throw us out. <laughs> oh, look at this mess. I know they won't be happy. No, no! Don't worry your cute little cubby heads about it. Remember what they did in the book? They cleaned up! Uh -huh. <laughs> right, we'll just clean up this mess before they get home. Um, excuse me, is, like, your dad, like, a lion? Yeah. yeah. And, like, your mom, is she, like, a lioness? Yeah. yeah. Um... By Sarah Durkee. Mm. Okay. Huh. There's a pig, a big pig, in my sink. <laughs> I'm no sissy or wimp, but I think that I simply won't miss him. I don't mean to diss him, but if he would quit sitting right where he sits, in the middle, all pink and all big in my sink, I could get him and me both a drink. Uh, oh, uh, there's a pig, a big pig, in my sink. <laughs> oh, oh, bravo, you two! That was amazing! No. <laughs> Thank you, Marmy. Oh, you know, I could almost see the pig in the sink. Oh. Mm. <gasps> And that, I can still see it. Hey, get out of that sink, little piggy. Oh. Come here. <coughs> Help me call him. Oh, um. Come on. Pig. Ping. Wing. The following preview has been approved for all readers by the Short Eye Association of America. Somewhere in a castle on the ancient Greek island of Crete, an angry king is about to trigger a scary chain of events featuring the vowel I, Isam. Get Daedalus and Icarus and bring them to the labyrinth. But what he didn't count on was... Hey, Pop, what you doing, inventing something? Whoa. Icarus, my son, I've been working on that for weeks. Oops. Oi. Icarus and Daedalus are back together for another adventure. Scary. Get Daedalus and Icarus and bring them to the labyrinth, from which there is no escape, and fling them in! Watch out as the father and son duo take on their biggest challenge yet. More ships, more wings, and more flying things. I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm so happy I could sing! Get ready for the builder of wings and his son who sings. Get up! Get up! Oh, oh. Together again in... 
the Wings of Icarus. The fun is just beginning. What's that? Oh, yeah, low high. Gotcha. The It vowel sound also appears daily in many other incredible words and stories. For details, consult your local librarian, teacher, parent, guardian, or vowel professional. Now you're thinking. What am I thinking? It's time for... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir Sp... Sp... And Sir In! In! Blend on, dudes! Sp... In! Sp... In! Sp in sp in spin. Spin, excellent. That's Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, "Now we are finished." <laughs> but we'll see you next time on Gawain's word. Gawain's word. And now, here to sing about a word that plays by its own rules is singer, songwriter, and recording artist, India Ari. Then why are you wearing a pig nose? Uh, evolution? We left for hours, but came back faster. Shocked to see this pig disaster. Uh, on the staircase. On the floor. Pigs, Pigs are plenty. plenty. Pigs, Pigs galore. Pigs and tutus. Pigs and feathers. Pigs and pizzas. Pigs and leathers. Pigs from England. Pigs from France. Pigs in just their underpants? What, what? They're clean. Where have I heard this before? <gasps> the book. <gasps> they know the book. We're so upset, we want to shout. You did all this and left us out? <laughs> <laughs> you mean you are not going to throw us out? No. no. <laughs> Or make us clean up? Oh, you're gonna clean this up. After we have some pig time fun! <laughs> Probability for disaster! Zero! Resume pig party! <laughs> oink! Uh, 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 oink? Yeah! Oink, oink! <laughs> oink! 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 <laughs> oink! Hmm? Yes, yes, I know. You thought I had more dignity. So did I. Oink! 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 Games and stories at the Between the Lions website, pbskids.org, or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. All kids need to be read to every day. Be a designated reader. If you help a child get wild about reading, you get a child wild about learning. Well, once upon a time, there was a boy named John who got his own television show, and he became one of the most...
just realized every time we eat out here in the garden it's just like a picnic mm. yeah mm. a picnic under the sky in the fresh air with a big rock as our picnic table mm. yeah and i love this big rock mm. it reminds me of that story about sylvester the donkey who turned into a rock mm. Mm -hmm. hey yeah uh, Sylvester, hey, remember you used to read us that story, Mom? Yes, Lyle, I... I remember it very well. Mm. Sylvester and the Magic Pebble by William Steig. Sylvester Duncan lived with his mother and father at Acorn Road in Oatsdale. One of his hobbies was collecting pebbles of unusual shape and color. On a rainy Saturday during vacation, he found a quite extraordinary one. It was flaming red, shiny, and perfectly round. He began to shiver, probably from excitement, and the rain felt cold on his back. I wish it would stop raining, he said. To his great surprise, the rain stopped. It didn't stop gradually, as rains usually do. It ceased. It's magic, said Sylvester. I wish it would rain again. Nothing happened. I wish it would rain again, he said again. <gasps> he guessed that the magic must be in the red pebble, where indeed it was. What a lucky day this is, thought Sylvester. From now on, I can have anything I want. He wished the sunshine back in the sky, and he started home, eager to amaze his father and mother with his magic pebble. He could hardly wait to see their faces. As he was crossing Strawberry Hill, he was starting to see a mean, hungry lion looking right at him. If he hadn't been so frightened, he could have made the lion disappear. He could have wished many things, but he panicked and couldn't think carefully. I wish I were a rock, he said, and he became a rock. I saw that little donkey as clear as day, growled the lion. Maybe I'm going crazy. And there was Sylvester, a rock on Strawberry Hill, with the magic pebble lying right beside him on the ground, and he was unable to pick it up. Oh, how I wish I were myself again, he thought, but nothing happened. He had to be touching the pebble to make the magic work, but there was nothing he could do about it. Sylvester fell asleep. What else could he do? Meanwhile, back at home, Mr. and Mrs. Duncan paced the floor, frantic with worry. Sylvester has never come home after dinner time, said Mrs. Duncan. Where could he be, said Mr. Duncan. They stayed up all night wondering what had happened. At dawn, they went about inquiring of all the neighbors. No one had seen Sylvester since the day before yesterday. They went to the police. Please, has anyone seen our son yet, Sergeant? The police could not find their child. After a month of searching the same places over and over again, Mr. and Mrs. Duncan no longer knew what to do. They tried their best to be happy, but they were always reminded of Sylvester. They were miserable. The days grew colder. Fall came with the leaves changing color. Then it was winter. The winds blew this way and that. It snowed. Then the snows melted. The earth warmed up in the spring sun and flowers showed their young faces. 
One day in May, Mr. Duncan took his wife on a picnic. Let's cheer up, he said. They went to Strawberry Hill. Mrs. Duncan sat down on the rock. The warmth of his own mother sitting on him woke Sylvester. But he couldn't talk. He had no voice. Suddenly, Mr. Duncan saw the red pebble. What a fantastic pebble, he exclaimed. Sylvester would have loved it for his collection. He put the pebble on the rock. They sat down to eat. You know, Father, Mrs. Duncan said suddenly, I have the strangest feeling that our dear Sylvester is still alive and not far away. I am, I am, Sylvester wanted to shout, but he couldn't. If only he had realized that the pebble resting on his back was the magic pebble. Oh, how I wish he were here with us, said Mrs. Duncan. I wish I were myself again. I wish I were my real self again, thought Sylvester. And in less than an instant, he was. You can imagine the scene that followed. When they had eventually calmed down a bit and had gotten home, Mr. Duncan put the magic pebble in an iron safe. Someday they might want to use it. But really, for now, what more could they wish for? They all had all that they wanted. The End Picnic P P Pony Parrot Panda Love too much stuff, just the stuff I need. Plus my dog, Grubby Pup, he's a chum indeed. Me and my Grubby Pup, just a hunk of junk. New and blue when I was two, now he's looking punk. Old Grubby Pup. Hey, Grubby Pup. Sit, Grubby Pup. Stay, Grubby Pup. Cuddle jumped through the mud and cuddled through the years. Scrubbed with pup in the tub till he lost his ears. Left behind at school time, but later on in bed. Snugs a bug in a rug, I hugged him to a shred. Old oh, grubby pup. Hey, grubby pup. Sit, grubby pup. Stay, grubby pup. Well, mostly now, Grubby Pup never sees the sun. But just cause I'm all grown up, don't mean love is done. And we still have fun. Good boy. Here we are, back at the final tee of the Word Cup Masters. Word writing ace Tiger Words is approaching the tee, where he must write the word paint. Could be challenging. There's the p sound at the beginning, followed by the a sound, then the n sound, then that final t, p, a, n, t, paint. If he makes it, he will win a train trip to Spain. Tiger is selecting his writing tool. He's playing it safe on this one. It's a number two pencil. He gets in position, and oh, look at that stroke, a perfect letter P. So far, so good. The letter P makes the sound p. The first sound in the word paint. Let's see what Tiger does next. He places his pencil, and there it is, the letter A, which is the second letter in the word paint. Now watch. Tiger is writing the letter N. That makes the word pant. Oh, no. He's putting his pencil away. He seems to think he's finished. What a disappointment. But wait. He's noticed his mistake. Out comes a paintbrush. With that signature tiger style, he slips the letter I right in there next to the A, making the AI sound of A. He's written the word paint, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Tiger, and enjoy that train trip to Spain. And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir... <laughs> and Sir Ain. 
Hint. Blend on, dude. Eight. 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 Excellent! That's Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying, sorry we have to pack it in, but I'll see you next time on... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! And now let's take a peek at Chef Cat Cora, who's got some more words that begin with a letter P -p sound. When I prepare a meal, I need a pan, a pot, a platter, and of course, a plate. Mmm, perfect. P. Picnic. I wonder if there are any other animal families who like to eat as much as we do. Hmm, I wonder. Oh. Glad you asked. The information hen has the book you need. Now, let's see. Where is it? Sisters, brothers, cousins, grandmothers, grandfathers. Oh, here it is. It's a pig's world. <laughs> Chapter 2, Pig and Her Family. Five members of Pig's family are having a picnic. Pig eats an enormous sandwich. Grandpa Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Mama Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Uncle Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Baby Cousin Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Delicious! The end. <laughs> Not to worry! No damage to the animated hen! Ah. Oh, boy. Okay, cubs. Now that we've finished our little picnic, mm -hmm. it's time to do what lions love to do almost as much as eating. Yeah, sleeping. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Wait, there, there's one thing that we have to do before we go to sleep. What's that, Daddy? Well, uh, we must. Yes? We absolutely must. Yes. Have a little bedtime snack. Yes! Yeah. 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 And now, get ready for another story about a family. This one's for you, Mommy. There's something in my eye. I miss you, Stinky Face. <laughs> she says Stinky Face. Yeah. Okay, Cubs, now what bedtime story would you like me to read to you? But Mama. No buts, Leona. Story, then sleep. Yeah, yeah. No buts for me, Mom. Uh, uh, good boy, Lionel. So, Leona, what story do you want to hear before you go to sleep? But Mama. But, now, oh. Leona, it's bedtime. What story do you want your mother to read? Uh, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Huh? The story with but Mama in it. I can't remember the title. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh honey, I know exactly the book you mean. I'll be right back. Okay. What, what took you so long? I did a little laundry. Oh, okay. Here we go. I Miss You, Stinky Face, written by Lisa McCourt and illustrated by Sid Moore. Ooh. I miss you, my little stinky face, said Mama on the phone. But I had a question. Mama, do you miss me so much that you're coming right home to me no matter what? I'm coming home today, said Mama, on a big silver airplane. But Mama, but Mama, what if the airplane forgets how to fly? If that airplane forgets how to fly, I'll hop in the basket of a hot air balloon. 
I'll soar past clouds and stars until I see your window. Then I'll float right into your room. But Mama, what if the balloon runs out of hot air and you have to land in the middle of the desert? If I have to land in the middle of the desert, I'll climb up on a camel and ride him like a racehorse all the way home. But Mama, but Mama, what if the camel gets so tired that he just won't take another step and he leaves you stranded in the jungle? Then I'll search that jungle for a cheetah, the fastest animal there is. I'll jump on her back and she'll race me straight home to you. But Mama, what if the cheetah doesn't want to leave the jungle? If the cheetah doesn't want to leave the jungle, I'll hunt down some pirates digging for buried treasure and ask them to sail me home to you on their big, scary ship. But Mama, what if the terrible pirates make you walk the gangplank? Then I'll find the speediest shark in the ocean. I'll grab onto his fin and use it to steer and we'll skim through the high seas all the way home to you. But Mama, what if the shark wants to nibble you into a million tiny pieces? If the shark tries that, I'll leap from his greedy jaws and body surf to shore. I'll call the bravest astronauts and hitch a ride on their supersonic spaceship and we'll all be home to you faster than the speed of light. But Mama, what if the spaceship gets sucked through a black hole and takes you far back in time to a big old castle instead of our house? If the spaceship lands that far back in time, I'll look around for a magic dragon. I'll climb way up on her back and whisper in her ear just how much I miss you. The magic dragon will fly me through time right back to you. But Mama, where would such a big magic dragon land? I think there's enough room on the driveway if you make sure your bike's put away. I'll put it away. But Mama, the airplane's how you'll probably come home, right? Probably. I miss you, Mama. And I miss you, my little stinky face. The end. <laughs> uh, great book. Good choice, Leona. And now... Uh... Aw, what about you, Leona? Well, I'm gonna miss you, Mama. Oh. What do you mean? I'm going to be right here. Oh, but I'm not. I'm oh. going on a long, long trip to a jungle and under oh. the water and in outer space in an airplane, <laughs> a hot air balloon on a camel, uh, just like the mama in the book. <laughs> well, that's just wonderful, honey. You're going to do all that in your dreams, right? Right, mama. So, if you don't mind... I gotta go. Okay. <sighs> Sweet dreams, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Me too. <sighs> Mama. M. Mm. M. Mop. Mom. Moth. Moose. <laughs> uh oh. Mm, ooh. Moo. Moo. Moose, 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 <laughs> moose. And now, fun with Chicken Jane. Today, Chicken Jane and the Loose Moose. Yes, 
start. Yes, it is a groovy hoot. Oh, Scott. Oh, I hear a moo. Yes, Dot. Yes, I hear a moo, too. See, Scott, see. That moose is loose. Yes, Dot. Yes, that loose moose is mooing. Look, Dot, look. See, Chicken Jane write the letters V A N O O S E. Va moose. Va moose. Va moose, Scott. Va moose. See, Chicken Jane go over the moon. We are not going over the moon. Thank you, Chicken Jane. <laughs> Encyclopedic stack for a book that tells it to me straight from A to Z and back. If you wanna see, if you wanna know why an earthquake quakes, how a whale blows, or how to make a phone from a paper cup. Here's a deal if you wanna get real. Look it up, look it up. Here's something about mosquitoes. Hey, look it, here's the roof. And here's a giant cactus. So much I never knew. You can find the rings of Saturn. Or just how a zip of zips. Plus charts and maps and graphs and laughs. Yeah, any way you fit. If you wanna see, if you wanna see, if you wanna know, if you wanna know how a guitar rocks, how a guitar rocks. Mushrooms grow. Well, how to build a boat. How to build a boat. Or adopt a pup. Or adopt a pup. Here's the deal if you want to get real. Look it up. Look it up. Here's the deal if you want to get real. Look it up. Here are some words that start with the letter N. Marker. Now. Mom. Microphone. Me. Mom. Microsoft. Mom. M. Mm. <laughs> That's it, Watson. That's it. <laughs> That's what, Doctor Nitwit? <gasps> Nit. White! Not it white, sorry! <laughs> yes! Uh, Watson, <laughs> you are witness to a great discovery! Behold! The only two words in the entire English language that are the same forwards and backwards! <laughs> Mom and p oh. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> what did you say? Wow! Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Go away. Uh, yes, Dr. Nitwit. Wow, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> M. Mama. Four lions are sleeping. I wonder what they're dreaming about. Glad you asked. The information hen has the book you need. Now, let's see. Where is it? Sisters, brothers, cousins, grandmothers, grandfathers. Oh, here it is. It's a pig's world. <laughs> Chapter 2, Pig and Her Family. Five members of Pig's family are having a picnic. Pig eats an enormous sandwich. 
Grandpa Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Mama Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Uncle Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Baby Cousin Pig eats an enormous sandwich, too. Delicious. The end. No damage to the animated hen. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Information Hen here. Visit the Between the Lions website for lots of fun games, exciting stories, catchy songs, and things to print. Plus, great resources for parents, teachers, and information hens. PBSKids.org. If you want a child to get wild about learning, get a child wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Oh, oh, Kelly, read that one. Once upon a time, a girl named Haley married a man named Mateo. Oh, a love story. Mm -hmm. And they lived in a town.